So in a video I put out about three weeks ago, I clickbaited you guys and uh, made you think I was gonna tell you what really happened when the Steve saga ended, but clearly I didn't actually tell you guys. Instead, I made a meme video. And so before you guys are unsure if I'm about to bait you again into another meme, I wanna tell you that this is actually a real video talking about what actually happened with the Steve saga ending and all of that. And I thought that I'd actually talk about it because I did trick you guys in that video about three weeks ago. And I, I just thought that I kinda owe it to you now after just, you know, baiting ya. So let's talk about it, shall we? On screen right now is the Canon Steve Saga. And I made a timeline, but I've covered it up with like a green uh, pattern thing just to not spoil anything. And we're gonna go over the Steve Saga timeline. I'm gonna be answering a bunch of questions. I asked you guys over on Twitter if you had any questions about the Steve Saga. Um, what's canon? Any plot holes? How's things ended? Where are these characters? And you guys did ask some pretty solid questions. So I want to talk about all of that. And I want to talk about some stuff other than Steve Saga at the end of the video. So um, let's just get, let's just, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Okay, so here I have a timeline I made in Photoshop and I'm in Photoshop right now. And here we have the canon Steve Saga on the left and the continued Steve Saga on the right. Some side notes what's next we got a bunch of stuff to go over but let's go ahead and zoom in to the beginning here and I put some timestamps here just so you guys could actually also understand how long it's been since the Steve saga started so as you guys can see here what I did is I started the timeline on when I summoned rainbow Steve because when I summoned rainbow Steve that's when I truly started making a story out of it rather than I was just kind of making the videos unsure of what the story is so a lot of you guys think that I made the story like right in the beginning but I actually didn't I started making the story once I realized that people really enjoyed the videos and I went you know what I can make a cool story out of this so we, I'm just gonna start it with rainbow Steve being summoned and so these are a bunch of screenshots of the thumbnails and all that and no, again not all of it's gonna be shown the timeline dude there's like 500 plus videos of the Steve saga you know so I can't really do all of it I'm just kind of giving you guys these screenshots so you can have an understand of where uh, understanding of where we are in the story when I explain some things dude it started in November 2017 that's how long ago now almost four years I think yeah yeah okay three four years whatever somewhere in between there either way we started it back in 2017 it's all started when the story was actually uh, progressing a lot it was summoning Rainbow Steve in Minecraft and we went and Rainbow Steve went and spoke to me for the first time and you guys absolutely loved that that was insane I remember all of that I think that was definitely when the Steve saga really really started picking up and um, you guys just kind of went crazy with the whole uh, with the whole fandom of it it was amazing seeing you guys actually show so much support for a story that I was making and I, I think that was the first time I really understood people's love for what the Steve saga was when I made the uh, when when I made Rainbow Steve uh, actually speak verbally and and then um, we got accidentally creating light Steve all of that stuff then we got light Steve dark Steve dark Steve was created and all of that then we got nightmare Steve the OG villain bro the OG villain we went and created the rainbow stone and all of that and that was amazing and I, I am just gonna kind of breeze through all this because I just kind of want to go over the actual timeline then actually talk about the ending parts of the Steve saga and um, you know kind of do a little refresher for everyone so we created rainbow stone we made the rainbow house that was the beginning of the rainbow town and I think that was the peak of everyone uh, just going crazy for the rainbow town and all of that and we made the spirit of the or the rainbow tree of life reverse Steve who's now in the rainbow quest series by the way if you guys haven't checked out rainbow quest I really do suggest checking it out because that is the reboot Steve saga except this time around I actually thought out the story ahead of time so th there's an actual really well built story and universe in it rather than me just winging it every episode we built the rainbow wall that was when we really got the rainbow town Plague Steve you know I'm I um you know with a today's climate let's just go ahead and skip over Plague Steve I know a lot of people want to ask some questions about what happened to Plague Steve and he just uh yeah, I don't know man uh, either either way uh Plague Steve let's just move on go Steve uh, that's when we actually ran into Ghost Steve. There's a long a story arc around Ghost Steve, Elemental Steve, Time Steve. That's when we also find Galaxy Steve and Void Steve. That whole story arc progresses into Origin Steve and Alex as well. And then that's when we actually brought in the Alex character and all of that. Somewhere, hang on, did I skip over it? I think I did. I gotta go back left. Somewhere in the middle here, this is May 2018. Plague Steve was introduced in May of 2018. So that has been, that had been um, a little less than a year. And then you come near the end when we ended it. That was May 2019. 19 and that is right 
when I ended the Steve saga canonically. Also, why are these behind the line? Ah, whatever, you get the point. So that is when we ended the Steve saga, uh, the canon Steve saga. So I get a lot of questions from you guys as to when the Steve saga ended or when are you going to end the Steve saga? It's on a cliffhanger. And I wanna tell you guys right now that that video where I uh, the end and I hit the disconnect button and I'm by the river and I say goodbye to everyone that is the canon Steve Saga ending. I know a lot of people want to keep talking about the future Steve Saga videos, which I did, and uh, we will talk about those in a second, but the actual true canon ending to the Steve Saga is when I hit the disconnect button. I think that was I, what most people automatically assume was the true ending, and I think that really wrapped up the story really well after we did the whole Origin Steve thing. I, I had planned, right as we were ending Void Steve, and we went into Origin Steve, I had planned for that to literally be the final arc in the story, and um, it ended really well, in my opinion. I think the story ended pretty great. Then comes along the time when I brought it back. So I brought it back thinking, you know what? I think I can actually fill this story properly and not make plot holes, and yet, I made plot holes, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you. There was a lot of plot holes in this story. Again, I created the Steve Saga not trying to make a full in-depth story with it, rather than one-off uh, episodes of, you know, my adventures with Steve's, but then it turned into the Steve Saga, and so so I had already made the basis of the story on a world that I hadn't actually built properly. And so I, I the, the, the story building hadn't been there from the beginning. And it was me constantly trying to fill in these plot holes. And then that creates other plot holes. I've talked about this in other videos as well. So I'm not going to go too deep into that. But moving on, that was the canon Steve saga. And I want to talk about the continued Steve saga. Because this is where things get dicey, bro. I'm going to be real with you. They get dicey here. It ended back in May 2019. I bring back the Steve saga. And... A lot of people's favorite arc was when I brought it back. It gave you that um, future punk vibe kind of thing with the music, you know, like the this is the Steve saga. Like a lot of people love that stuff. And I did too, actually. When I brought it back, it was, a, it was a breath of fresh air. But I do like to remind people that this is not canon anymore. I think at this point, this is kind of a spinoff as well as other, other Steve sagas that I'll be talking about later. But this starts becoming something I don't want to canonically think about here. It's not going to connect to me disconnecting. Obviously, Obviously, I come back and the story picks up where it left off, but um, this is where things, they really get extreme in the story, and I like to just remember that I did end it off on a good note with the, the end part um, that people really, really showed so much support for. But either way, I continued it, so we did this, this is the Steve Saga official return, and then, you know, I went back on, we found Alex and all of that. There was that whole infection, Alex was the last one to survive the infection. Either way, Time Steve meets Alex and all of that. Illusion Steve shows up, turns into reality, reality Steve gave himself up. I put the Steve Saga in danger is the non-canonical ending. So, the continued Steve Saga, the true the true ending uh, to the Steve Saga was the end, where I hit the disconnect button, but if you want to bring in this part of the Steve Saga, after all that, and I come back, and there was that whole infection, and I was looking for Galaxy Steve, Time Steve is hit, uh, attacked, and destroyed by Illusion Steve, and all of that. that. All that stuff, where the, the Guardian of the Spirit World becomes the minion of Illusion, and all that, you know? Um, then, if you do want to count that, then that the next ending would be, I put the Steve Saga in danger, where that whole explosion happens, and I try and contain it. But as you guys can see, I've included one more thing, where in February 2020, years later, I technically did continue it again into a series of a Minecraft virus series here. So technically, that is connected. So these two things right here, the I put Steve Saga in danger, and a Minecraft virus took over the, my Minecraft world, they are technically connected in the non-canon part. Dude, I feel like I'm explaining an anime right now. So technically, those are connected. These worlds are connected. If you guys saw how I segued in, it did, but I wanted to try and make it like a, another spinoff. This is where things just get super confusing, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. Either way, that was in February 2020, and that whole series happened. Man, I did, I did like a solid, I don't even know how many episodes. I did like 15, 10 episodes of that. I have my playlist pulled up here. And I did a bunch of that, and ironically, as this series was starting to progress, I don't even want to say the word. You guys know what I'm talking about. The whole Rona thing started being really prevalent. And I, I, I had created this series before that was even like a thing, okay? I started the series somewhere in January before like, uh, like I literally hadn't even fully heard of it. I think it was, it was being talked about a little bit in like the end of December, but it was more of like a, just a chatter thing. But then like end of February, March rolls around. It like, it got pretty serious. And I started thinking maybe, 
I shouldn't be making a, a Minecraft series called Minecraft Virus. I just don't think I should really make a series like that. So I ended up just stopping doing the series because it just, it didn't feel right making it anymore. I was worried that people were going to start thinking that I was doing it to profit off of what's happening in the real world. And I really don't want that. That's super messed up. And uh, even though I did create the series before the whole Rona thing even became a thing, it wasn't even fun making the series once that became really uh, a big thing in the world. So that's why that hasn't been continued. But I uh, wanted to go over this entire timeline. We've got a bunch of questions. I asked you guys over on my Twitter at favor my favorite. It's down in the description below. Help me get to a thousand followers. It's a new Twitter. What questions you guys had for me? I actually might pull up the Twitter again, see if you guys asked any more questions other than what was asked here. But we've got a lot of questions because I know there's a lot of plot holes. So get ready for me to say plot hole a lot because some people are going to be asking questions. I'm going to tell you that's a plot hole or something like that. Either way, I want to go over some stuff. So we got some side notes. Here's some questions people's, uh, people have been asking. So let's talk about them, shall we? Was Lucas's and Rainbow Steve's Steve Saga canon? Lucas's Steve Saga was not canon. It's nothing of his own fault. I We just didn't communicate enough to make the story connect properly. So Lucas's Steve Saga, when he was doing the Steve Saga, is not canon. Now Rainbow Steve, the channel Rainbow Steve that was also uploading the Steve Saga at the same time as me and is now called the Steve Saga and is actually, there's going to be some new news on that channel. But either way, that channel, uh, the Steve Saga on that channel uh, was canon. Yeah, so Rainbow Steve, when he was in the Rainbow Town with me and the Steve Saga, he was uploading that was also where I was in it as well, where we were obviously in the Rainbow Town doing our own things. That is canon. Uh, Lucas's isn't, as well as um, the Blue Steve saga that is not canon as well but steve saga origins is canon kind of i'm telling you man it's like i'm explaining an anime right now it's it's canon until we started trying to subliminally connect things like secretly connect things to the story and and foreshadow things uh, and then it didn't work we tried connecting a bunch of stuff the story ended up changing plot hole bro that's all i'm gonna say uh, okay so let's keep it let's keep looking at these so what happened with the virus is it canon why did the virus happen so i, I already actually kind of talked about this the virus is not canon why did it even happen in the first place so the original point of it the virus was created because of everything that was happening in the steve's world there was so much chaos that it, it uh came to try and calm everything uh by destroying it at all that was the point and so the virus was going to create this new world from the old one in order to get rid of all the steves and so technically it did in the series, in the virus series, there are no Steves. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's no mention of Steves. And so that was the entire point of it. Now, there, I, I added the question at the bottom, but this is connected. Who was the Steve that made the bedrock appear in the non-canon ending? So at the ending where I, there was the explosion and then it turns into the virus series, um, there's a bunch of bedrock appearing everywhere and you're like, what's happening? And that was actually the virus getting ready to begin the new world. So the virus was already in the non-canon ending and that is what's happening. And so it came carries over into the virus series as well as the virus is what was speaking to Alex that made her so like spooked at that one point I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about at this point but there was a point near the ending where she was at, acting weird trying to lead us somewhere and it was the virus speaking to her. what happened when Rainbow Steve was destroyed he went to the spirit world and I mean that's it he went to the spirit world when he was destroyed that's where Steve's go when they are destroyed or move on did Alex Galaxy Steve and others I didn't put an S there. <laughs> survive the blast. So when I say go, I put everyone in danger that, that episode. Uh, did they survive the blast? And the answer is yes. They did survive. Yes, everyone survived. How was Plague Steve created? Man, dude, what a weird time to talk about all this stuff. Kind of like the virus, man. All right, created because there needs to be a balance. Will the Blue Steve Saga come back? And no, no, the Blue Steve Saga will not come back. The only Steve-related content that will be coming onto the channel is Rainbow Quest. That's not ending anytime soon, so you guys can look forward to that. And I know I say it a lot, but you guys might not even take my word on it. Rainbow Quest is like 10 times better than the Steve Saga, man. I know to you guys, it's they're all they're both just series, and you can have your opinions. It's fine, but the amount of back-end work, like behind-the-scenes work that's put into Rainbow Quest, is so much more. There's so much more love and and care put into Rainbow Quest to create this truly well-built world and a lot of it is thought out the season one by the way this video once this video is supposed to come out so this video is supposed to come out and then in two days the season one finale is actually going to premiere season two will continue immediately don't worry guys so season two of rainbow quest will continue but 
season one is going to come to a close and I, I thought out a lot of how season one as a whole and the next seasons are already going to play out. Give Rainbow Quest a true chance if you enjoyed the Steve saga. So next, was Time Steve destroyed or was that an illusion? That was supposed to eventually be an illusion, but I forgot about it, never got around to it. Plot hole, he is alive if that's what you're asking. That was a lot of uh, questions that you guys, I kind of put together, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that anyone else uh, has an ask here, let's see here. Why did all the Steves get sick? How did they get sick? What happened when Saber was destroyed? Plot hole, I'm just gonna say plot hole. I think I had a real answer to that, but I'm just gonna say plot hole because I don't think anything I say will properly conclude those questions. So I'm just plot hole, I'm sorry. Why did Rainbow's, Rainbow's voice change slash why does he no longer have a voice in season two? Uh, what do you mean? Rainbow Steve always had a voice. His voice changed though because the voice actors swapped. We had two voice actors. Why why did Origin Steve decide to turn Overseer into a sheep and not some other animal? His sheep just happened to be what he chose, but it was because he uh, was punishing the Overseer. Um, can you give me a summary of the Steve saga in less than five minutes? No, no I cannot. I am not going to do that. I think I answered most of the questions. I hope that I answered a lot of the stuff that was going on. Like, I'm proud of the Steve saga and where it went, but 500 episodes in, man, uh, there's a lot of plot holes, bro. Now, I want to talk to you guys about, well, about creating stories. That's what this channel is mostly based off of. Most of the success on this channel has been from creating stories um, and the Steve saga well that was an accident I won't lie the Steve saga was an accident when I created it into the most popular story people know me about I mean when people think favor my saber they think the Steve saga it was literally just a happy accident but when it comes to creating stories I think one thing that I always overlook is how important it is to have an ending. You know, a lot of the stories on my channel never really got true endings because I was so focused on in the moment that I never looked at the conclusion to everything that was built up, the conclusion that people yearned for, that the reason people watch is because they loved watching this adventure and where it will lead, and yet I ended a lot of it on nothing. And so when I actually finally com completed the Steve saga with the end, I thought that it was a great ending. And yet I couldn't help but keep it going afterward. And that's when the non-canon part happened. And it, there were still some great parts in it. But what I've noticed about myself is that I love making stories. The entire reason I'm even here is that so many people, you know, tens of thousands of people also loved my stories. And yet I always take that for granted. I feel like I never really actually wanted the conclusion. You know, I never went into a story wanting a conclusion because I I felt like the adventure itself was enough in a story and then when I was done I could just move on but I always look back and see how people love these stories and they always ask me years later what happened what happened that it is important it is important because even though the journey is the best part on a lot of things it shows you the full circle it shows you yes the journey was amazing, but you work for all of that for something, and what is it for? But I'm gonna start doing that. I've realized that I want to make a lot more stories. So real quick, uh, Mev, who's my editor, has been editing this entire video, but I'm gonna take over from here, Mev. Sorry, sorry, bro, it's my turn. And let's have a chat. To me, a story is a world you can immerse yourself in for even just a moment and believe you could be there if it's good enough. For literal years, I've made stories because it's something I've found satisfaction in. I tried to create worlds that you could lose yourself in. But I found that sometimes, I lose myself in my own story, caught up in what could be, rather than what is. I remember creating things that make me feel something, even when I didn't want to. I was thriving to create the next moment. A moment that showed me emotion and disbelief that a simple story could even make me feel such a way. Over time, I've learned a lot. How to convey what it is that's in my head through a beautiful story. I've learned the importance of all aspects of storytelling, even the subtlety of sound. Recently, I've decided to build a team filled with people just as passionate as I am. I've decided to go back and create things I want you to see. Stories that are beautiful, worlds that are grand, people that you can understand. Whether it's five or five million, the fact that anyone cared about my stories reminds me why I do this. I do this because I want to understand this world, the most complicated story of them all. We are all our own main characters of a story, destined for greatness 
if that's how you choose for years to go. Change is needed. You wouldn't have even checked out my channel if it wasn't for you wanting change in content. If it wasn't for you searching for something new. And I want to give you something new because I have also changed. I still know that I have a lot to learn, but I want to show you what I've learned so far. Saber. Welcome to the next chapter.